So this is part two of our our workout routine. Today for me is a running day. So I like to start with pull up. So today is going to consist of pull ups. Like the next day for your Armstrong workout, your sit ups, and the running. So let's start with the pull ups. So what I'm going to show you is this. Is, I'm in my apartment right now, but um. This is a pull-up bar you can just buy at like Academy for like 30 bucks, I think. Um, so if you're just starting out learning how to pull, do pull-ups, because when I first did the, when I first started training for the candidate fitness assessment, uh, I could only do like five pull-ups at the most, and they weren't even good pull-ups. So I highly recommend that if you're just starting out with pull-ups, that you buy one of these and do these frequently in your home following my program well not my program but you know Armstrong workout I'll post a link in the description but uh, yeah so this is great for learning how to build up your pull-ups you can see I kind of fucked up the door right here but um yeah but if you're like an experienced pull-up person this may not be the greatest thing to practice for the PFT for because um, these do have cushions on them so it's it's really comfortable I would say on your hands as opposed to like a normal pull-up bar that like the Marines use it's a bit the Marines use a bit like stickier and rougher surface for your hands and it, it does affect and make a difference on your pull-up performance so, as much as you can, I, I, I recommend practicing on the actual pull-up bar that you're going to use. Um, but if you're just starting out, uh, I would recommend buying this because it's very, it's kind of hard to get out and find a pull-up bar, like, readily whenever you need it. But yeah, so, today is day three of the Armstrong workout for me which is training sets. So training sets is basically, a, one training set is basically one, one set of number of pull-ups that you can consistent, consistently keep doing without failing. So you're going to have to be able to do three normal grip training sets, three like chin-up sets, training sets, and three wide grip training sets. So your training set has to be the amount that you can, that you know for sure you can complete uh, all of them with. So, uh, for example, last week my training set was four because I could do um, four reps for like nine sets for sure without failing. Um, so, because I was able to do four reps for sure without failing. Um, I think I'm going to knock it up to five this week, but uh, I may have trouble because I'm really sore from the past two days of doing pull-ups. So, we'll see. Uh, I can do about 16 normal pull-ups for sure, 17 on a good day. So. If you're around that number, you're, you're probably going to be like four or five reps for a training set. So right now, I'm going to do three um, training sets of normal grip, then three uh, chin-up this way, chin-up pull-up sets, training sets, and three close grip. I'm gonna say this again, and I cannot stress this enough. 
make sure you go all the way down below. It's a new life for me. That is pull-ups for today. All right, right now we're gonna do the sit-up portion. So for my, my sit-up days, I do a total of 210 sit-ups. Um, that may be a steep number, but I, I break it up. So you're gonna do one set of about 100, actually 110 reach for 110 within two minutes because for the CFA you're gonna have to do 95 sit-ups and um, the Marines are gonna do, have to do 100 so it's better to do way more or not way more but like more than the max amount just so that in case you're a little bit like more tired that day um, you're, you're more used to doing 110 sit-ups as opposed to 100 so you aim high can fall short a little. The cool thing about practicing setups is you can tell you how somewhere to do your setups. I use my bed. Uh, it's a little hard to anchor your feet because it's uh, a little sharp, a little sharp in a way. Um, but you know, uh, and I use a bathroom mat. I would recommend finding a pretty uncomfortable surface. Because when I do the Marine PFT, I um, we do it in a park, so it's gonna be like a little bit rocky and grassy, and it the surface that you're on does affect how well you do your setups. So if you're more used to doing like setups on a very very uncomfortable surface, then everything else will feel like a breeze, like a bed. So, just just recommending that. Um, also, I advise not to drink water right before doing the sit-ups. I just made that mistake right now. But uh, this one time, I was at the office and I did sit-ups and I drank water and that water was sloshing around my stomach while I was doing sit-ups and it feels a little bit weird but it's also really weird to hear. And um, in this case, a Marine was holding onto my legs. So that was also weird, but oh yeah. So another thing to do is find a place to ask a family member to hold on, to wrap their arms around your front legs and kneel down on your feet so that you can anchor yourself. That, that way you don't need it. We're gonna start with 110 sit-ups in two minutes. So, Marine way is to have to grab your biceps, and when you touch your legs, that's gonna count as one. And then go down. Um, they don't make sure you don't like, push yourself up when you're tired, because that's not gonna count. And um, when you rest, rest at the top position. So what I like to do when I rest at the top is use my arms to anchor myself to my knees rather than hold myself there. get my time to stop but uh I did a hundred just now in one minute fifty. Um 
which is okay for me. I've done it faster before, but a little out of shape on sit-ups. But um, two minutes, about 120 seconds, which is, I think it's plenty of time to do 100 sit-ups, uh, assuming you don't stop. So you may have time to stop a little, I mean, as you like when you're near 100, but uh, but uh, try not to stop because 120 seconds is plenty of time for 100 sit-ups. So I'm gonna do 10 more and then I'm gonna rest. So I'm about to go out and do my run. So before that, what I like to do before I just go out to go work out or go for a run or do a PFT or CFA is take some pre-workout. So for those of you that don't know what pre-workout is, it's like Gatorade on steroids. And boy, you gotta try it. powder and it's fruit flavored. Okay. You drink it, you you mix it with water and uh, it'll give you like a bunch of, it like changes your electrolytes or something and then it gives you like a huge burst of energy. So um, you can't really take too much of this. Normally I just take one scoop. Uh, the last PFT, I took two scoops, but uh, you're not really supposed to exceed more than that per day. Some people like to, to get those gains, but uh, apparently it's dangerous, so be careful when you're using this stuff. And for your first, for first time users, you will feel a weird sensation like 15 min minutes after drinking this and your face will like start burning a little and feeling really twitchy like you just smoked a bunch of math. Thanks. You know what? Uh, I don't really notice any difference. Just uh, my face itches and uh, I have a little bit of anal leakage. I don't know why I did that. It's just, it just went straight to my spine. I think uh, whew, um, my skin feels like it's rotting off and my heart's gonna explode. Medical standpoint. What would be some healthy alternatives uh, to pre-workout that Marines could do? Well, simple things like changing your socks and drinking water. Not that I've ever done that, but that's what I imagine it feels like. So um, it's completely normal. That's what I think it's the way it's supposed to work is you feel so itchy and so bothered that you just need to get it out by running or working out. So yeah. I highly recommend trying this. Alright, so we are at Spence Park where I did my pull-ups yesterday. And Spence Park is about one mile in circumference. So normally I run three miles. So I highly recommend for the CFA or the PFT uh, to run three miles because you only have to run one mile for the actual test, but running three miles is increases your running speed and um, it just makes one mile seem a lot less. So, because the first time I ran a CFA, my one mile run was, I don't know, I felt like I was gonna die in the one mile, but now that I can run three miles normally, one mile is really not that much. Like the PFT, Marine PFT I ran last Tuesday, um, at the one mile mark, I ran it in like 640 something, and that was me. And that was when I was like saving energy for the whole three miles. So, if you can, you can probably sprint like one mile and get a pretty good time. But so, if you're trying to get into the Navy, um, run three miles 
because uh, you're going to have to run 1.5 miles for the PFT, Navy PFT. So running three miles will really help your endurance and speed and running time. Uh, if you're in the Marines, also run three miles normally. Today I'm going to run four miles because I'm trying to up my, my energy. But, uh, and let's see. Normally I can run three miles in 20... Let's see, last time was 20. 2150. Uh, my fastest was like 2020, but it just depends on where you run. But um, also, I'm wearing combat boots to uh, push myself because it's a lot harder to run in combat boots. So, just the only way to practice your running and improve your running time is to run more. So, run always run more than what the test wants you to run. Not really looking forward to this four mile run. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. But uh, the night before PFT, or when you do like a lot of running, make sure you hydrate a lot. I'm not really sure what hydrating does. I just heard, I've heard like, it decreases your need for water during the run. But I mean, I honestly don't see that much difference. But yeah, so just drink lots of water before the run. All right, so I just finished my four mile run. Uh, it's about 84 degrees right now at 11 o'clock. Um, yeah, and that's that's a cold front here in Texas where usually it's blazing hot. So I, I recommend normally running early in the morning or late at night when it's dark out just cause it's cooler and normally you want your PFTs or fitness test uh, done in the morning when it's really cool outside um, yeah so just stay motivated during the run just keep running running that's the only way to improve it and add some weight maybe to improve your run time thank you very much for watching um, yeah I know I haven't posted in a while but um, since I do this anyway I do my workouts anyway uh, I thought I would like help y'all out because I know when I was doing the when I was training for the CFA, there wasn't really a video out there to help me with this. So I know like a lot of y'all like really look for, look to this channel for help. So I really appreciate y'all for, uh, for actually watching my videos and actually finding them helping, helping. So I read all your comments. I don't get enough comments. So feel free to ask a comment and I reply like instantly. So yeah, so subscribe to the channel. Uh, I might post more. Uh, quick update for those of you like following me right now I just finished my application to the platoon leadership leaders course class for the Marines uh, I'm going to do my maps my physical for military personnel uh, in a couple weeks and right now I'm working on trying to get like almost a, a max score on the PFT for the Marines I'll post a video about that later on probably but uh yeah, so for those of you watching this for the Canada Fitness Assessment, stick with the program, do it every day. Um, and eventually you'll reach your goals. Uh, it's really not that hard to max it out, the Canada Fitness Assessment. It's, so yeah, just stay motivated, stay strong, stay, stay hard, and good luck all you candidates. Pick up the slack where I dropped it.